Today I'm gonna show you how to use the masking tools in Final Cut Pro to achieve it. Work by transitions. This is when someone walk across your shot by mistake, but you use it as a transition. Here's me recording a video in town and a guy walk past my frame. Good, I love that. For this to work, the person or the object needs to cover the entire frame. So we have a video in our timeline. Go to the effects section side, click on mask and key in, drag draw mask and drop it in the video in your timeline. Go to somewhere in the middle so we can see our model or subject fully in the frame. Draw around him using the the pen tool. You can click and hold to get a smooth curve around your object or your subject. Drop more points behind your subject in this very scenario. Once done, go to the first frame and drag the mask further to the other side. Click on the drop down menu next to the transform. Make a keyframe on position, rotation, scale and control point. Drop the feather down a little bit to soften the edges. Now go 5 frames forward or more and move the mask. You can highlight more masks and drag them at once together. Now repeat that till you get it across the screen so now we have something like this then play back to check if you need to do few corrections in between frames once done drag the second video below the first video and now you've got yourself two beautiful ladies showing on your screen clone yourself time for us to get ourselves a partner for this to work, you have to plan ahead before shooting. It makes your life easier. Place your camera on a tripod or on a stable ground. Do not touch it or shake it. Make sure the lighting stays the same and there's no much changes with the lighting. Indoors works perfectly with this kind of effect. Place a tape or an object on the ground and use it as a guideline to separate the characters. And no matter what, do not cross that line. It's gonna save you much of work during post. Press record, dress up as one character and perform all your actions don't touch the camera after that change into a different cloth or the same cloth and perform the other character once done bring your footage into final cut pro cut the unnecessary part out and now you have two or more separate videos depending on how many clones you want to create place one on top of the other go to the effect section side select shape mask drag and drop on the top video click on the top video go to the right side of the software change the curvature to zero percent increase the size and drag it to to reveal the other video. You can play around the feather to soften the edges so it doesn't show that much. If there was a slight changes with the videos, use the exposure or color corrections to fix that. It feels like no one is watching my videos bro. Just don't give up. Keep pushing yeah? Objects removal. This may work or may not work depending on your shot. You have your video in your timeline. Go to effects section side. Select draw mask. Drag and drop on the video. Draw around the subject or object. Drop the feather to somewhere. Man minus 5 or minus 35. Now we need to track that mask. Go to mask, click on the drop down menu next to the transform. Make a keyframe on position, rotation, scale and control point. Go 5 to 10 frames forward and adjust the mask and point. This will automatically make a keyframe on it. Repeat this process till the end of the clip. Now select invert mask. Make a duplicate of the video by pressing option and dragging upwards. Click on the down video. Delete draw mask. Still with the down video video selected, go to transform, move the x axis to the subject or the object disappears on the screen. Test reveal 1. Video already in the timeline. Go to titles and generator sidebar. Click on titles. Select basic title. Drag and drop in the timeline. Go to the right side of the software. Type in your text. Change the font style and size. Go to the first frame or where you want the effect to start. Go to video inspector. Make a keyframe on position. Now go 30 to 40 keyframes forward. Make another keyframe on position. Then go back to the first keyframe by clicking on the arrow back on Y axis, drag it downwards. Now you have something like this. Make a compound clip of the titles, go to the effect section side, select shape mask, drag and drop on the compound clip. Change the curvature to 0% and feather to 0. Now go to where the animation starts, use the on screen controls to drag the marks to the very top of the test. Then go to the right side of the software, select invert mask. 
test reveal tool video already in the timeline go to titles and generator sidebar click on titles select basic title drag and drop in the timeline go to the right side of the software type in your text change the font style size color and add drop shadow go to the effects section side select graduated mask drag and drop on the titles go to the first frame or where you want the effect to start Make a keyframe on targets and center. Go 30 to 40 frames forward. Make another keyframes there. Now go back to the first keyframe. Use the on-screen controls and drag this side upwards till the text disappears. And make sure it stays in a straight line face or eyes pop this is very important during color grading stage video already in the timeline make a duplicate of it by pressing option and dragging upwards select the down video and press v to disable it go to the effect section side select shape mask drag and drop on the top video change curvature to 100 percent to get a circular shape now increase the feather a bit adjust the mask to the shape of the face of the model or your subject go to the first frame then go to the shape mask on your right side of the software click on the drop down menu next to transform and make a keyframe on position rotation and scale go 5 to 10 frames forward adjust the mask if necessary and make another keyframe repeat the process to the end of the clip select the down video and press v to enable it then click on the top video go to color inspector click on the drop down menu and select color wheels increase the exposure a little bit on mid tones to make the face pop and please don't go crazy with this or else it's gonna look too fake text behind subjects video already in the timeline go to titles and generator sidebar click on the titles select basic titles drag and drop in the timeline go to the right side of the software type in your text change the font style size color and add drop shadow make a duplicate of the video in the timeline move it to the top of the titles go to the effect section side select draw mask drag and drop on the top video go to the frame where you can see the object or the subject clearly draw around the subject click and drag to get a round shape around the subject or the object change further to somewhere 2 or 10 now go to the first frame and drag the mask further to the other side click on the drop down menu next to the transform and make a keyframe on position rotation scale and control points go 5 to 10 frames forward adjust the point to follow the subject repeat the process to the end of the clip play it back to check if you got it all right do necessary changes if possible and keep adjusting the point to get it nice and clean freeze frame transitions is my favorite among all the effects we have two videos in the timeline go to the first frame of the second video shift h to freeze the beginning frame of the second video make a cut at where it ends go to the effect section side select draw mask drag and drop on the freeze frame cut out the object or the subject now drag that to the top of the first video right click on the freeze frame click change duration and change that to five to six frames drag that to the ending part of the first video cool effect or triangle effect honestly i don't know how to name this so let's just go with triangle effect place one video on top of the other video go to view and select show horizon that's gonna guide us with this effect go to effect section side select draw mask drag and drop on the top video draw a triangle shape using the edges and the horizon as a guide move the triangle a little bit up and increase the feather too now go to the first frame then click on the drop down menu and make keyframe on position rotation scale and control point go 30 to 40 frames forward make another keyframe on position rotation scale and control point then go 30 to 40 frames forward and make another keyframes there too now go to the first keyframe drag the down point next to the left point then go to the last keyframe drag the down point closer to the right point cool effect tool or spinning effect honestly i need to work on how i name all these things let's just go with spinning effect for now use a thin thread around the object fix that on a pole or a c-stand or you can ask a friend to help you out with this we're gonna use the same principle as the cloning effect place a tape on the ground and use it as a guideline and no matter what do not cross that line spin the object and stand next to it and do whatever you want to do right after that move the c-stand away and get an empty clean 
video of the background. Once done, bring all into Final Cut Pro and cut out all the parts needed. You will end up with two separate videos, a clean empty video and the one with the subject and object in it. Go to the effect section side, select draw mask, drag and drop on the first video. Cut out the C stand and the thread. Don't worry, we'll fix the black spot. Go to the right side of software, select invert mask. Now drag the clean empty video below it and you got yourself a cool effect to play around with. That was a long one. This next video will show you how to get free auto captions in Final Cut Pro. Catch you guys on the next one.